Canon has just sent seismic shock waves through the entire professional and enthusiast photography community. Fresh, credible leaks are suggesting that the highly anticipated Canon EOS R7 Mark II is not just a routine mid-cycle refresh, but a revolutionary, category-defining machine poised to disrupt the entire APS-C mirrorless camera landscape. If the confidential information circulating among industry analysts and supply chain sources proves accurate, this camera possesses the potential to completely obliterate the performance gap between smaller APS-C sensors and their full-frame counterparts. The rumored specifications are far beyond the wildest expectations of even the most optimistic Canon fan, making it abundantly clear that the company is not planning a simple iterative update. Instead, Canon appears ready to deliver a hybrid content creation powerhouse designed to not only meet but dramatically exceed the demands of the modern photographer and filmmaker, all while retaining the essential agility, compact form factor, and affordability that APS-C shooters cherish. For wildlife photographers, action sports shooters, and vlogging cinematographers looking for the ultimate single-camera solution, this might finally be the definitive tool that hits the mythical sweet spot between blistering speed, impeccable low-light image quality, and granular creative control. This device is shaping up to be the best camera for YouTube creators in the enthusiast class. Let's begin the deep technical dive with the literal heart of the system, the sensor. Multiple, seemingly independent sources are consistently reporting that the Canon EOS R7 Mark II will feature a brand new, next-generation stacked CMOS sensor. The consensus on resolution is narrowing, suggesting a figure ranging somewhere between 33 and 40 megapixels. That megapixel count alone, potentially pushing the 40 MP barrier on an APS-C body, is a genuinely stunning number offering professionals incredible latitude for cropping and maintaining high-resolution output for large-format printing. However, it is the stacked sensor design that represents the true, undeniable game-changer. Stacked sensors fundamentally redesign the chip's architecture, moving the processing circuitry behind the imaging plane, thus allowing for dramatically faster data readout speeds. This unprecedented speed virtually eliminates the infamous rolling shutter distortion that plagues current generation cameras, especially when shooting 4K or 6K video, and vastly improves real-time processing capabilities. If you have ever captured a high-speed vehicle, a golf swing, or a helicopter's rotor blades only to see noticeable warping, skewed vertical lines, or jello effects, you've experienced rolling shutter in action. With this cutting-edge stacked technology, those performance-limiting issues could be reduced to negligible levels. This specific upgrade is the critical element that transforms what would otherwise be a mere enthusiast's camera into a bona fide professional-grade tool ready for the most demanding applications, from photojournalism to high-end corporate video production. Powering this revolutionary sensor is a rumored combination of Canon's state-of-the-art Digic X processor paired, for the first time in an R-series APS-C model, with a dedicated Digic Accelerator coprocessor. This creates a genuine dual processing system built specifically for sustained speed, high volume data throughput, and unmatched reliability. Think of this setup as a twin turbocharged engine, capable of handling everything from complex, predictive autofocus tracking to intensive multi frame image noise reduction and ultra high speed buffer clearing at truly lightning fast paces. This powerful tandem suggests the Canon EOS R7 Mark II will deliver exceptionally smooth and virtually blackout-free performance, even when capturing long bursts of extremely fast-moving subjects, from elusive birds in flight to unpredictable street photography moments. Low-light sensitivity and overall image fidelity are also set to benefit immensely, with a rumored two-stop improvement in noise handling. This allows astrophotography and nighttime event photography specialists to push their ISO levels higher than ever before while achieving cleaner, more detailed results, solidifying its place as a top-tier low-light camera. Another major, headline-grabbing rumor centers on a staggering improvement in image stabilization. Canon I. S reportedly pushing the engineering limits of sensor shift technology with an integrated 8.5 stop in-body image stabilization system. To put this number into perspective, this level of stabilization is currently best in class and could make previously impossible handheld shooting scenarios a new reality. Imagine confidently capturing a one-second handheld exposure of a twilight cityscape and still achieving perfectly tack-sharp results.
or utilizing a stabilized 1 15th of a second shutter speed to create beautifully flowing motion blur in a waterfall landscape, all without the need for a cumbersome tripod. This unparalleled stabilization opens up a whole new realm of creative photographic techniques, providing immense freedom for travel photographers and vloggers who require maximum mobility and stealth. This high-efficiency IBIS also extends directly into video recording, offering ultra-smooth, gimbal-like footage when combined with Canon's electronic stabilization, making the R7 Mark II an exceptional run-and-gun video camera. The electronic viewfinder is also poised to receive a much-needed, serious professional boost. The Canon EOS R7 Mark II is expected to feature a high-resolution 3.69 million dot OLED display with higher refresh rates and highly accurate P3 gamut color reproduction. For wildlife photographers spending long hours tracking subjects in bright daylight or waiting for the decisive moment, this upgrade will dramatically reduce eye fatigue while delivering a truer, more instantaneous preview of the final exposure, dynamic range, and color grade, feeling more like an optical viewfinder than a digital screen. When it comes to autofocus, Canon is absolutely determined to cement its industry-leading position. The camera is rumored to incorporate their next-generation powered subject recognition AF, an AI-driven system capable of identifying and tenaciously tracking an expanded range of subjects, including humans' various animals, birds with exceptional precision, and a massive library of common vehicles. This system is expected to feature a new low-light focusing mode, enabling it to perform flawlessly in extremely low-contrast environments and complex, mixed lighting scenarios where previous systems typically struggled and hunted. For professional sports photographers, this means an unprecedented hit rate on tracking a subject tearing across the frame at 40 frames per second. For portrait photographers, it guarantees flawless, unyielding focus on the subject's nearest eye, even during unpredictable movement or when the subject briefly turns their head. The key concept here is AF reliability, providing professional assurance that the camera sees and reacts just as fast as the shooter does. One of the most thrilling and disruptive leaks pertains to the shutter system. Canon is reportedly planning to go fully electronic for the R7 Mark II, potentially eliminating the mechanical shutter entirely. This bold move would allow for completely silent shooting at all times, a fundamental and necessary advantage for wedding photographers, sensitive wildlife enthusiasts, and theater-slash-event shooters who must capture critical, fleeting moments with total discretion. Crucially, this electronic-only design is what enables the rumored blistering burst rate, expected to reach up to an astonishing 40 frames per second with full AF-slash-AE tracking. This speed is competitive with, or even surpasses, several flagship full-frame models on the market, positioning the R7 Mark II as a genuine speed champion and a transformative tool for capturing fast action and subtle expressions. Then we turn to the video capabilities, an area where Canon is clearly aiming to not just compete, but potentially dominate the enthusiast and prosumer market, even challenging dedicated cinema cameras. The most conservative early leaks suggest the Canon EOS R7 Mark II will offer uncropped 4K recording at up to 120 frames per second providing filmmakers with incredible slow-motion latitude, combined with support for the essential Canon Log 3 Gamma Curve. This combination provides professional cinematographers with a tremendous 14-stop dynamic range for extensive and flexible color grading in post-production. But the rumors don't stop there. More aggressive and recent sources are claiming the camera could feature internal 6K recording at 120 frames per second or, even more remarkably, 8K video at 60 frames per second. These are resolution and frame rate specificati. Ons that were, until extremely recently, exclusive domain of high-end, dedicated cinema rigs costing tens of thousands of dollars more. If these rumors hold true, it would instantly make the R7 Mark II one of the single most capable and powerful APS-C video cameras ever released, capable of delivering broadcast-ready, professional-level footage in an incredibly compact, travel-friendly body. It will undoubtedly be the best camera for independent filmmakers on a budget. Speaking of the body, Canon is rumored to be implementing a subtle but essential ergonomic overhaul. The R7 Mark II will reportedly share key usability improvements first seen on the upcoming R5 Mark II, including a slightly larger, deeper, and more comfortable grip profile and a dedicated, more tactile joystick-slash-multi-controller for incredibly fast autofocus point manipulation. 
For professionals who spend long, grueling days shooting documentary footage, wildlife photography, or multi-day events, this change could dramatically improve both shooting comfort and overall efficiency. Furthermore, Canon is wisely said to be increasing the overall body volume slightly to allow for superior internal heat dissipation, a critical move to prevent overheating during long, sustained recording sessions of high-resolution video like 8K per 6K. On the storage front, Canon is expected to include dual memory card slots, a configuration professionals demand, one high-speed CF Express Type B slot for maximum throughput and one standard UHS-2 SD slot. This combination provides both peak performance and the crucial data redundancy professionals need to guarantee no images are lost during mission-critical shoots. Two final, groundbreaking rumored features could genuinely revolutionize the entire shooting workflow. The first is pre-continuous shooting a technology that constantly buffers images in the background before the shutter button is fully pressed. This means that when the user finally presses the shutter, the camera has already securely saved the milliseconds and moments leading up to that action, essentially guaranteeing the user never misses the decisive instant, whether it's a tiny bird taking flight, a basketball player dunking, or a fleeting, perfect expression. The second highly speculative feature is in-camera image upscaling slash pixel shift mode, which could potentially allow users to utilize the IBIS system to generate ultra-high resolution images or to process a higher resolution output directly within the camera drastically reducing the need for computationally expensive post-processing software. If both of these sophisticated, intelligent features are confirmed, it would secure the R7 Mark II's position as one of the most intelligent and versatile APS-C cameras ever engineered. Of course, every flood of technical leaks eventually leads to the biggest, most critical question, what is the official Canon EOS R7 Mark II release date? According to the current consensus among industry insiders, there is still some minor uncertainty about the exact global announcement timing. A few reliable sources have noted that official, corporate-level discussion about the camera has been unusually guarded, suggesting the full production and marketing launch might not be immediate. Based on Canon's historical product cycles, their typical competitive positioning, and established release patterns, a realistic and highly probable launch window appears to fall between late September and early December 2025. This strategic timing would perfectly allow Canon to capitalize on the massive consumer spending of the holiday season while positioning the R7 Mark II perfectly for the peak photography and event season of early 2026. While earlier dates were initially speculated, most reliable analyst projections now overwhelmingly agree that a late 2025 debut is the most likely scenario for this flagship APS-C body. As this anticipation continues to build toward a fever pitch, one fact remains brilliantly clear, Canon is ready to make a monumentally bold statement with the EOS R7 Mark II. This device could signify a fundamental turning point in Canon's entire mirrorless strategy, establishing a definitive, high-performance bridge between full professional-grade capabilities and genuinely accessible portability. Whether your passion lies in shooting high-resolution stills of tiny details, crafting cinematic short films, capturing fast-paced sports, or exploring the dynamic world of hybrid C. Content creation, the Canon EOS R7 Mark II is undeniably shaping up to be the single most compelling, powerful, and future-proof camera of 2025. It will be the best APS-C camera for video and stills the market has ever seen.